Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. I want to talk to you about wires? <laughs> really, I get a lot of my ideas for videos from you guys. You guys ask me questions, and one of the questions you guys always ask me every week is, Doc, I got this diagnostic code. What does it mean, and how do I fix it? And I want to explain to you, it's not that simple. For you new guys that don't know what a DTC is, a Diagnostic Trouble Code, let me explain it a little bit to you. There are about four different trouble codes, we call them, that come up. One is a current. That means the light on your speedometer or whatever gauge you have is staying on. That means that's something we need to take care of right away. Okay, there's the historic, that the light comes on and then goes off. And there's something that happened to your motorcycle that need to maybe swing by the Harley shop and find out what went down. Then there is a pending code, and that's through our computers. We hook up to your motorcycle and it says, hey, there was something going on here. Not enough to trip a code, but there's something going on with the communication system of the Harley Davidson, the CAN bus area. And then there's the new one, the emission light. Yeah, and the new bikes, if something goes wrong with the emissions, the cat or the throttle or something to do with emissions, that light comes on and says, hey, we need to take care of this right away so we can breathe all day. So there are codes that come up in it, and they are numbers that can come up, and a lot of you have figured out how to go through your gauges and find out what the codes are. But to tell you how to fix it takes a lot. Let me show you. Here is a manual, just the electronic diagnostic manual for a 2020 touring bike. That is a lot of book. I looked it up last night, printed out 21 pages of codes for a 2020 touring bike. So you find the code and it says, let's just say it's a throttle position. It's not that simple. I might tell you that code says it's your throttle grip, but it's not. It maybe was tripped, but it could be two wires in the main wiring harness. When you saw this video start up and all the wires that are inside a touring machine, one little wire can just be broken, just a little bit, bent, wiggle test that we do, and it can set up a code that says, whoa, I got a code here, and oh, it's historic. It, it went away, and it comes back. So there's a lot to it. When I get a code, I look it up and it gives me a direction. And then I have to use some of my equipment. I have breakout boxes. I have an ECM, BCM, ABS, and a speedometer one that a guy's using right now to diagnostic on a speedometer. And then I have my harness kit with a bunch of connectors for here. And then of course I've got my own bolt meter with my uh, probes and my uh, connectors for the wires going out. So it takes a process following the flow chart seeing if what the code is, is it really that product? I don't want to tell you guys, hey, this means this, it has to do with the throttle, and you go out and spend your money and spend a lot of money for a throttle control grip when it could be a wire that's somewhere else or a different sensor. We have many times one code goes off and it sets off four other codes because this is the problem, but it's saying it affects all these down here. So I just wanted to share with you when you look into your bike and you find a code, and it could be historic, swing on by the Harley shop and find out if it's something that we need to look into. But don't write me and say, hey, here's the number. How do I fix it? Because it takes a lot more than just me answering a question over the Internet. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.